Hi, my name is Derek Opitz and I'm a field application engineer for Vector. And today we're going to show you how to debug the Vectorcast harness with Code Composer Studio. So I have Vectorcast configured here with a few tests here. And let's say that one of these tests is not uh, executing properly and so we want to debug that. The way you would do that is right click on the test case and say execute with debug. And you are presented with two options, with coverage and without coverage. You can debug with either one, but the without coverage is typically easier to do because you don't have the instrumentation points in there to make things more confusing and a little bit harder to debug. So I'm going to choose without coverage. And this help menu is going to pop up here, kind of going telling me how to configure CoComposer um, for debugging. Now, the parts that we really need to know are these two down here. This is the executable location here of where our test harness is, and then the name of our test harness here. So we're going to hit Start Debugger, and this is going to open up Eclipse. And so it's opening up on another screen, and I'll pull it over when it's done. When it's done, we're going to configure Vectorcast to debug this test harness right here. So here is our Eclipse. Now, to debug our harness, we need a working um, configuration. So I have one right here. I have a little TM4 board in my office. I created a Hello World that I can use to connect to the board and debug or in, in, uh, and debug it. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do this little pull down menu on my debug and I'm going to go to debug configurations. <clears throat> Once I have debug configurations here, I'm going to take the debugging configuration that actually works, the one for the, my particular board, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate. And so we're going to make sure that, you know, we have a working configuration, and then we duplicate it, then we give it a name. We're going to give it just vcast underscore debug. Now we don't want to mess around with anything on the main tab, but we want to go to the program tab. And in here, for the program that we want to debug, we're going to change it to our Vectorcast harness. So that's, this is where we're going to go to here, and we're going to grab this, copy this, paste this in here, and then we're going to go grab this, and paste this in here, and we're going to apply this. Now, another thing we want to do is we want to clear out the project because we don't want Vectorcast, we don't want CoComposer to build the project every time we want to debug. So we're going to clear out the project. And then when we apply, you notice that we a new debug configuration gets saved up over here. So when we click on debug, it's going to load the Vectorcast harness in onto the board, and it's going to set us, and get it, set us up and get us ready to debug. You notice that it stopped in main. Here is our stack trace. It stopped at main, and we don't really want to be at main. We want to be at the function that we want to debug. So we're going to come up here into our breakpoints, go our breakpoints view, and we're going to go to breakpoint, and we're going to go breakpoint. And we're going to enter the name of the function that we want to debug. In my particular case, the function I want to debug is called place order. So we're going to type in that, and we're going to click on, click on OK. And you notice in the breakpoint now we have place order here. All right, so I'm going to hit my resume, and we're going to stop at place order. And you notice here in our stack trace, you can see here's main. We've gone through, a, we've gone into the Vectorcast harness. Eventually, we've called place order. Now, Vectorcast adds code at the top of each of these functions, and and that code is marked by these little these little um, comment flags. Vcast internal start. If you scroll down, Vcast internal end, Vcast internal start, Vcast internal end. We want to go to the to the last Vcast internal end here. Right after that is where our actual code that we want to debug is going to be. So we want to find the end of the Vectorcast additions, and we want to find the first executable line, which is right here. And then we're just going to double click to put in a breakpoint here. You notice it gets added up here. Then when we hit resume, we stop on that line of code. Now we can actually debug our function. So we can just step into it. We can do whatever we need to do for that particular function. So that is how we have set up Vectorcast or set up code composers so that we can debug the Vectorcast harness and figure out what is wrong with our test cases. Okay, now I'm going to stop this and I'm going to close this down. And then you'll see that our test case is going to fail, but that's okay because we were just debugging it anyway. If we wanted to actually run it, we would just hit execute. But I'm going to hit execute with debug one more time. 
And I'm going to show you uh, one thing of, is that after you have set this up one time, you don't have to set it up again. Let's wait for the clips to load here. Taking a sweet time here. All right, so now if I go back to my debug configurations, you can see that VCAST debug has been saved. Now, if you want to debug a different uh, harness or a different executable, you might need to change the program name. You know, if it's a different environment or a different or you want to debug the, the harness with instrumentation, then you would need to change this program name. Uh, but for this particular case, there, you know, we just want to debug the same harness. So we just hit debug, and you can see we're back at main eventually. We're back at main, and if we, we still have our breakpoints even, we hit go again, and now we're back to the VCAST internal start of the place order. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. If you would like to check out our other videos on our VectorCast YouTube channel, please do. Thank you very much. Bye.